Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. So those were my benchmark results with GeForce Experience recording. But to get a more accurate reflection of how the driver performs, I switch off the in-game overlay and I do benchmarks without recording to get very accurate 1% lows and average FPS counts. So just go through the results. All games were tested at medium settings. And where there was FSR 2.0 or 2.1, I used quality of the setting. So yeah, for 522.25, I calculated the average FPS's got 576 over 8 games, divided by 8, so my average FPS per game was 72, and then I divided that by all the 1% lows, and I divided the, the average 1% low by the average FPS, and I got my stability is 72% basically. And then for the most recent driver, 527.56, added up all the average FPS's, got 573 divided by 8 is 71.63, added up all the 1% lows and then I divided the, the average 1% low by the average FPS and I got a stability rating of 71.63. So previously I was recommending 527.56 uh, but I wasn't recording the 1% lows. Once I've recorded the 1% lows I've actually concluded that the most was the fastest as well as the most stable driver in recent in the recent months is an actual fact 522.25 it's not massive so if you got 527.56 it's a pretty good driver but if you want the fastest and the most stable driver 522.25 is your baby guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video smash that like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel please Help a friend. Um, other than that, guys, have a good day. It's people like you. Cheers.